Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a updated cruelty free makeup tutorial. The first one I did was quite a while ago now, it was kind of when I first kind of started my channel so I thought I would do another updated version. So I've got all brand new products that are not used in that video that I'm using today. Some are recurring brands but I haven't got any of the same products that I used in the old video. So if you'd like to see how this look turns out then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe. So I'm going to start off with brows today. So I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this is in the shade black. Surprise, surprise. I think I'm going to do the eyes first. So I'm going to prime them with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is the BH Cosmetics uh, palette with Carly Bible. This is her deluxe edition so it's like the newer version. So this is what the palette looks like. I'm going to just start off by taking the matte white shade in the palette just to set down all the primer that I've used. So I'm going to use this peach shade here and just buff that into the crease. gonna take this kind of warm terracotta brow shade. I'm just going to apply that slightly lower in the crease. I'm gonna take a mix of this kind of cool tone brown shade, mix this in with this dark brown, the corner into like the first and the outer half of the crease. I'm gonna go back in with the terracotta brown and just make sure that this is all blended. Now I think I'm gonna use some concealer and I'm just gonna carve out the lid. Apply it all over the lid. I'm gonna take this gold shade here and I'm gonna concentrate this kind of on the outer half of the eye and then I'm going to add this highlight gold in from the inner to the outer, if that makes sense. Use the Body Shop Vitamin E Spray, Body Shop R43. I'm just going to go back in with those two brown shades, so the cooler shade and the darker brown and just kind of redefine this crease area. So I'm going to go finish the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the eyes pretty much done. I'm going to go in with some liner, so I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. gel liner. This is just a black one. So for mascara, I'm just using my Too Faced one. Okay, moving on to the face. For primer, I'm going to be using the Imani Perfect 10 Primer Serum. So this is a new brand to me. And I really, really love this primer. I've been using it for about a week or two and it's become one of my favourite primers. It goes really, really tacky, but not too, too tacky, but it really keeps your makeup on so long. And vegan, cruelty-free brand, obviously, and they've... It's called the Perfect 10 because it's like a serum, a primer, a moisturiser, and like seven other things. It has like 10 different ingredients that do different things for your skin. So yeah, it smells really nice. It smells like a tropical rainforest and it's just really good. 
so this is definitely one of my favourite primers ever. Then for foundation, this is another product I have been loving recently. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and mine is in the shade Cream Beige. The thing I don't like is it's got a spatula which is good, it's, you know, it helps distribute the product so you have more control with how much you're putting on your face but obviously it's not as sanitary as just, you know, a squeezy pump because you're you know, put it on your face and then putting it back in the bottle, but apart from that, I love it. Then for concealer, I'm going to be using the Colourpop No Filter Concealer and I've got the shade Medium Tan out. I'm going to use this to kind of really carve out under the eyeliner and just make that look really sharp. Then to set the under eye, I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. And when I was like having a look for brands that were cruelty free, I didn't know Beauty Bakery were, so that's good. So like, this is like my favourite powder as well. I love this stuff. off all the under eyes and then I will do the inner corner and brow bone highlight after that. Okay then for the inner corner and brow bone I'm gonna just mix this pinky highlight shade with the white and see how that goes. Highlighter, I'm going to be using the Jouer powder highlighter and this one is in the shade Topaz. That glow. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek bronzer and this is in the shade Tawny. For blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush, and this one is in the shade Berry Amore. Then to set all this in place, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray. And for lips, I'm going to use the LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liner, and this one is in the shade Natural. This is one of my favourite new lip liners, I love it. Okay, then for a gloss, I'm going to be using the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Kirby. And that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this cruelty-free makeup tutorial. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Milani Baked Blush and this one is in the shade Luminous. No, it's not. For blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Brush. Blush.